Okay, hi, it's me, Ran, and by request, I am actually shooting a video, a tutorial how to create a landing page through InstaBuilder. And InstaBuilder, it's called a plugin that you can get through a WordPress. So this website that I've created with all these different tabs, um, it's through WordPress and it's very basic. You will go to your actual website URL, your domain name, and then forward slash admin. That will take you to this page where you log in. Okay, so this is your your um, back office of your WordPress site. And I'm not gonna show you any of the other portions today because we are focusing on InstaBuilder. So I've already downloaded it. Basically, you just go to um, plugin, add new, and then you search for it. You put in InstaBuilder, It'll pop up and then you download it. This is what it looks like. When you get to the page, uh, you can um, purchase it and then download it and it's a uh, one-time purchase. All right, so how you actually make one. So let's go to add new. And what you name here in the title is what's gonna show up and you're gonna see the slug here after I enter whatever I want. And when you click, it shows you that's the actual link it's gonna be. Let's say you were to do two words or more than one word. What's gonna happen here is now that you've already set this up, it's not gonna it's not gonna change this unless you click on edit. If you had first done this, these three words, it would show up with hyphens in between the words. And you can edit that and make it any title that you want to show up after your main uh, website URL. First thing you need to do, click right here, turn this post into a landing page. This is a main page, you can go to squeeze page, drop down, mini squeeze page, single column page, video or product launch. Now for a regular landing uh, page that you usually see where people submit their information for a basic one, you want a mini squeeze page. I will show you what a single column page looks like later and what a squeeze page looks like. So mini squeeze, your design, you can just pick whichever one you want. Let's just pick the simple one. You can see what they look like by clicking on it and then once you're done with everything that you're doing, you save or you publish it and every, anytime you make edits, it saves it and then you'll be able to um, preview or actually view the page right here. Right now there's there's nothing to see because we haven't actually published it so there's no way we can view it. We're gonna pick the simple design. The design color blue, I'll stick with blue just to keep it all simple here. You, you don't have to do anything here. You can add a favicon but that's really not necessary. So what you whatever you write here, this would be if it was a, a, sing, a page instead of a landing page. So because it is a landing page, we go to opt-in. This is very basic, I'm keeping it very, very basic. And you have to input an autoresponder code. At that point, you open up a new tab, go to your get response, log in. Get response or Aweber, whatever you have for your autoresponder, okay? And then what we're gonna do is web forms, create a new one, and you don't even care what this looks like. Just take everything away except for the email. So it doesn't really matter, Just you just want one. Um, unless you wanna collect their name, but I've just been doing their emails. So you click next step, name it, whatever you want. And what you would do here is instead of a default, you would do your custom thank you page and that would take you to whichever URL you want to take them to so that once they do sign up whatever information that you have on your landing page it'll take them to this thank you page which is the immediate page after the landing page. Next step you take the show HTML code turn this off right click to select all right click to copy go back to your WordPress right click to paste and boom you have your AR code okay on this opt-in section you have the ability to make the background color a certain color text a certain color you can choose any one of these and once you do it'll show you all these variations let's just stick to black for now the opacity is whether you can see through the box or not if we change it to let's say 60 percent you'll see what it looks like and you can kind of see through and see whatever background you have. This is where you would input your title. So I'm not gonna do anything so you could see what it looks like. And then this 
is your opt-in for when they enter their email address. This right here is telling you you want the simple form because you just want you know the name and email or just the email like we chose. And here this doesn't matter what it says because it's not going to show up because our form doesn't have that available. You can enter what you want here for your email label. And I usually put enter your best email address or enter your business email address. So you could see that once it's published. You could put whatever you want here. Like we will never share your information with any third parties or we will never share your information or your privacy is safe. This right here, you can change the color of yellow, orange, or red. And you want it to pop out. So you want it to be a contrast of whatever colors you chose. And since we have black and white, any one of these will pop out. Let's just choose a yellow one. Let's just push next step. When you go back up here, you can go to custom background and um, upload any picture that you have. The bigger and um, higher pixel in resolution, the better. But you also have the ability, if it's a small picture, Click Use Custom Background to uh, repeat. So you choose left top, center, 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 and then you can say I want to repeat it because it's smaller. I usually have it fixed so that it's easy for the eyes. And then um, you would upload. You would upload whatever file. So um, this is if you want to do a custom background and it tells you which image size is the best to show up clearly on a background for your landing page. So if you put no repeat, it's right here. You would put enlarged background image to fill up entire area. So it would take that one picture and stretch it out. And it might not look good if it's not a picture of this side. And at this point, I'm just going to um, publish it so you could see what it looks like. Okay, so it's published, tells you exactly what time you did it. You can edit it. Can you see here what I'm talking about? If you wanted to just say tutorial, but you want to remember when you go back to your pages and see all pages that this is a tutorial. Which tutorial is it? Oh, it's on InstaBuilder. But you want other people, when they go, you want them to just go to tutorial. You can edit this so that it's shorter and it's cleaner looking. Let's say I just want to get rid of all that. Okay, and what you want to do is update it. Okay, all right, let's see what it looks like. So you go up to view page, there it is. Remember, we didn't change any of the text that was on there, but we did choose this yellow next step button, and we didn't change the wording of the privacy. Look, what's cool about this is uh, it has your, your website, whatever WordPress site that you're using, it looks really professional. So you understand that you wanna change this text, you want to write it, obviously, to uh, grab the attention of whomever you're trying to get and make it as short and concise as possible. Uh, the background color you can change. This you can change. You see the op opacity here is like 60%, so you can kind of see through the blue dots. If this was a darker background, you'd be able to tell a little better. Or if it, better yet, if it was a picture, you'd be able to see through it and, and really tell. Once they enter their email address, because you have it set up with your autoresponder, it will take them to the thank you page that you set up. Let's try it out. Okay, and I want to go to next step. Boom. Takes us to my iPass. So I press update after doing squeeze page, and then I'm going to view it. So here's your landing page that you've created, but your content can go here. Remember where it says your headline goes here, and then you could write whatever you want in this. So let's go back and edit the page and um, bring it back to mini squeeze page, update that. So when you view it, you'll see this here. It'll just be tutorial. It won't be tutorial on InstaBuilder because that's what we edited as. See? Perfect. All right. And then now I'm going to show you what a single column one looks like. That's a cool face. <laughs> so I have a title here, which I've hyperlinked so that it can go directly to the page that I want them to go to, to sign up for it. I've um, uploaded a custom background like I, sh I showed you that you're able to do, and I made it fixed so that it doesn't scroll with the rest of my content. This is a single page, well, single column with a video, which you are able to do. This has very basic information. It just kind of gets right to it. And a couple of call to actions here. And if you have any questions or you want me to make another video on something as a tutorial, I will be more than happy to do that. Just comment below and let me know. It's me, Rand, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Have a blessed day.